definitely a coffee drinker. It is Friday, I think the 29th or something like that, and I woke up in a vloggy mood, so I decided to pick up the camera. I feel like my face looks bad, but it's okay. We here. Um, I'm making breakfast, so I will show you guys what I have cooking up. There's mushrooms, spinach, three egg whites, or no, four egg whites this morning, and then I have a whole egg that I do on top. Seasoning this morning was garlic salt, everything but the bagel seasoning. I get this from Trader Joe's, and then I'm just gonna hit it with black pepper once it comes off. Ooh, that sizzled up. I'm gonna sit here and work a little bit, and Check in with you guys in the next clip. I finally gotten up and around. I have been working on like client stuff all morning. So I've gotten a good portion of that knocked out for the day. So right now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to make pre-workout meal and kind of get together my post-workout. Um, this is pretty similar to my last vlog because I do the same things for post-workout and I pretty much have the same pre-meal every day just because I like it and it's functional. It's functional for me. I do 30 grams of Kamut Puffs and I buy these at Whole Foods. And then I also do like 15 to 20 grams of this Captain Crunch sprinkled donut. So for protein right now, I'm trying to keep mine around body weight, like if we're talking macros. So I'm weighing like 130 pounds, somewhere around there. So I try to keep my protein anywhere from like 130 to 150. You need one gram of protein for every pound of body weight you have. So if for me, I'm weighing 130 pounds, I would need at least 130 grams of protein per day. That's kind of like the average um, rule of thumb when you're going for protein. My protein shake in just a small shaker, and today I'm gonna use just the select protein in peanut butter cookie flavor. This is my absolute favorite. So one scoop of this and uh, my cereal, and that is my post-workout routine. I'm training push-pull, which means I'm training a combination of pull movements and push movements, which um, if you're thinking of like body part terms, it's like push-pull, back, and chest. My back is usually paired with something whenever I train back, just because I'm not trying to necessarily grow my back too much. And um, chest is usually a good thing to pair with my back workouts just because i'm not necessarily trying to grow my chest either now that doesn't mean it's okay to not train your chest as a girl but you know i just got my breast done i had quite a bit of um you know pec tissue before i got my augmentation done so i just don't think chest or back necessarily needs to be hit like full focus um, every week. Now, I do throw in an occasional like just back workout or just chest workout, but for today and like my goals for right now, my style of training, um, I'm doing a mix of both. So today is push pull day. I know that was kind of like full circle. I'm training push pull day, but yeah, that's what you guys are gonna see. Okay, now getting into pre-meal, I'm doing 30 grams of oatmeal. I've got my oatmeal here. Um, I just made it regular with water in the microwave. And then now I'm going to be measuring out 15 grams of select protein for oats, maple brown sugar flavor. Um, this is by far my favorite flavor. But like I said in my last vlog, this one, um, apple cinnamon and peanut butter honey, both of those are great options as well. So.
up and I'm ending my workout with uh, 15 to 20 minutes of intervals on the Stairmaster. I'm going to show you guys my intervals. So one minute single steps, one minute double steps, level, I don't know, like 10 probably for 15, 20 minutes. I'll show you. I know like you're you come to the gym for the gym but usually whenever you enter a gym they have some sort of like eating nook or like area and they don't really have one here so I'm currently in just like the giant posing room look like right off the main gym so of course I have people looking at me while I'm just uh, eating and talking to my camera but that's okay because I'm recording footage for you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna finish eating my post-workout and then pack up, head home, and I will catch you guys. I just spit, sorry. And I will catch you guys when I get home. Craving some micronutrients for my post-workout meal. So I think I'm gonna do um, kind of like a big taco bowl or like big salad bowl type taco thing i don't know so what i'm going to do um i'm going to saute up some of this uh what do you call it coleslaw that's the word
have that uh, cabbage mixture. It's sauteed up and softened. And then I have um, two, I ended up getting two and a half ounces of chicken there. And in this bowl, I'm going to throw a handful of lettuce. All right, cabbage mixture is on there. I'm going to add some fat-free mozzarella. I am going to measure out the rice just because I want to um, track my carbs for this meal. I just don't want to go crazy. And then I'm going to hit it with some sugar-free barbecue sauce. I'm going to assemble my little taco salad, little thing, whatever you want to call it. And I will show you guys once I do that. So here's the finished product. Um, I guess you would just really call this a salad. It's not really like a taco salad, but um, it's my version of a big old micro dense salad. So if you'll remember, I've got cabbage, red beans and rice, fat free cheese, lettuce. I've got grilled chicken, some carrots, a little bit of ranch, um, sugar free barbecue, salt and pepper, lots of seasoning. It's gonna be so good. Diving into my next meal, I'm making a protein waffle with some oatmeal um it is 7 30 now so it is getting kind of late but i have one more meal after this one <clears throat> so i'm gonna do a protein waffle and oatmeal for this one and maybe something savory for my last meal haven't decided yet so ingredients for this protein waffle you need one whole egg one scoop of PE Science Select Protein. One half teaspoon of baking powder. So you're gonna stir this together and you're going to add water until it has like a thick waffle or pancake consistency, whichever, whichever one you prefer or whichever one you wanna make. science protein waffle with 10 grams of birthday cake G butter and then a packet of that uh, 100 calorie oat fit with another 10 grams of G butter but this one is brownie batter so I have a couple more client updates that I need to do then I'm going to kind of hang out for a bit and probably have one more meal before I head to bed so yeah I will check in with you guys after I eat this meal me and JC are making pizza I'm using half of one of these, what are they called? Joseph's like lavish pita wraps. I'm gonna cut this in half and I will use that as the crust of my pizza.
Freaking spray is far. Look at that. So I'll spray it. Look how far I am from this. Bam, 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 bam. Amazing. All right, so pizzas are about to go in the oven. That's JC's. He's got a full wrap, and then I've got half a wrap. We have the oven at 425. How long do they go in, babe? Just until they look about good. No set time. It's your preference. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> Just until they look good. <laughs> that is going to wrap up today's video full day of eating plus I took you guys to the gym with me so I hope you enjoyed today's footage if you did, make sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and... She's lying too. She's having Halo Top later. She just didn't want to show you guys. I don't have Halo Top. I mean, if we can go get some Halo Top, we can make that happen. <laughs>